Hello friends, today I am going to explain how to read XML data from the table in SQL Server. So, um, this is my table. If you, if you observe it, this column has an XML, fi XML file. So, this is the structure for XML. Now, I will show you how to read the values from in this XML using xquery in sql server so now i will read the attribute t attribute value test one so let me go to this here so this is my table now i will write cross apply So I will write column name here xml underscore data dot qe query sorry notes now I need to specify from where I need to start so I will start from transaction not now this result I am setting into result set t I am giving the table and result set as t so until now I am I am specify from where I need to start in this uh, in the start and where I need to set those results so I am setting the results in uh, under the t column now I will go to the here and t dot value this is the syntax we have to give and from so I, I know my result set are, are here now I can write the expiry. Uh, my result sets are ready, so I am saying that go to this uh, this node and uh, get the data and uh, assign to this table. So I am prepare, I prepared the result set. Now I will retrieve the data. So for that I need to write t dot column dot value. I need to write x query here and um, um, write uh, column name which I want from this XML. I want to read this value, so I will write here and so I want to read the text value for that. I need to write text. I need to uh, define the data type so it is the text that's why writing where care 100 yes t t t value so my selling statement ready let me go and execute So I forgot to input this one. That's why I did. Uh, if you see that, so I am I am it's a, I am able to successfully read the data from the XML file. So test one. So I have total five uh, five rows in in my table. So it is uh, this select statement it goes inside all this XML, all these rows and fetch the value for t attribute one. Suppose let me go another level. I want to go and read the get the 
list of service from the this service i want to read the id value these these values so there is a another um, so so here if you observe here my result set this p is having complete information for the transaction so i will go and filter this table again using cross apply t dot nodes of service I'm ascending to I'm ascending to S this so from this service I want to read ID so my ID is uh, this this is int since I am reading the integer value ID it is int so I'm browsing here Okay, on small change, I, have, I should give t here. T dot nodes of service. So I am saying from this result, go to this node, service node, and assign the result to e. So I am saying from e dot value, I am setting the query like from id, get that, get the text. So this way I am reading for the value. So if I execute this one, so this is the values from that uh, XML. Like this, suppose if you want to on more, go to one more inner level, I if I want to read the response, response value of key. From this response, if you want to read the key value, so we need we need to go one more cross apply. So now e dot nodes. So now I will write the query to read the value to read the key value from the response node. So I will I need to mention that response here. I need to give last names. And So I should write the query. R of key. So I'm I have the result set of response here. So I'm saying key. Key here is the text. So I need to write the where care hundred. response ID also I should give service ID let me go next to it
see friends I got the complete information from the entire table so this way if you see here so the result is same that's why we are seeing the same results but internally it is going in each and every row and locating those information and this way you can drill for that drill down you can uh, uh, using uh, using this uh, like this like you can get the you can read the values and if you want you can assign these values to any particular table and you can do further and uh, you can go for further uh, further uh, process based on your requirement and uh, there is another example i would like to show so if you want to read the uh, values from table using columns and this is the way so i am saying here uh, go get the value of root transaction t attribute so t attribute value so it is get the all the values from the table of t attribute so let me go and uh, add one fetch one more value this time I would like to read service and response key so now service uh, so service no. so transaction service response slash of key so it is also valuable let me go and execute this one so you see that I will get all the values from the table related key. Like this, you can check, I can fetch the external values and you can uh, uh, so you can read and uh, uh, do the necessary things. So, I hope you get some information from this video. Thank you very much. Please visit channel, channel 11 for more updates. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching my video. Please like it, share it and also subscribe my channel for more videos.